How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. So behind me is something that I've built which came about from another build video which is dropping tomorrow and I was like this needs a video by itself. So what it is is it's food. It's a food thing, okay, where you can put your food and you can plant your food there and it's just so much easier because when you're planting food in settlements, right, it's it takes up a lot of room, doesn't it? And it does, it really does. But these, these don't, they don't cost hardly any resources to build you can build them as high as you want as wide as you want all that good stuff and they just don't take up a lot of room like you can literally have like a tower of food and then that's it that's your one section of food in the settlement like done just in the corner out the way one big tower of food i think they look really cool as well i don't like this one with the railings but i thought i'd show you like two two different ideas i like the ones with the wooden fences and the snappable junk fences that's the mod that i'm using in this um no hardly any other mods used to build this i mean you don't need any mods at all the only one like i said was the snappable junk fences which i'll leave a link in the description but they are brilliant they are tiny and they're just out of the way and they produce about 20 to 30 food uh it's 30 food for the free tier and 20 food for the the sing uh, the double tier so the higher you go and the wider you go it'll produce more food this is my favorite one though it just looks it just looks cool and it needs to have the um pillars in you know what i'm like for aesthetics you know underneath the stairs and stuff it needs to have the pillars uh to look like it's being supported i, I go for the realism i just didn't finish it in this one because we're actually going to be building this in norderhagen beach and this was just done in finch farms just to show you what it's like and they're, they're brilliant they honestly are like i cannot fault them they, they as i said it just doesn't take up a lot of room and it looks quite smart instead of just having food like in a dirt patch in the corner or wherever you need to put them in your settlement or however you do it i was just like nah let's have it in like a tower like a like a food tower that's what it is so we're building in norderhagen beach lovely lovely place to build on bit small in my opinion but you know whatever so i've sped up the video as well really really easy to build these and the only annoying part about building these is the scaffolding they just don't clip do they they never clip i don't know what it is i don't know if you get it on consoles or not but on pc they just refuse to, to clip properly you just have to fidget like like mad and it's, it's so annoying so basically all you're doing is scaffolding you're putting wooden floors down you're doing your uh, dirt patch your food dirt patch on the floors and then you're putting your food in and then adding stairs that's that's it video done there you go you know what to do so basically follow along go as high as you want as as always go as low as you want as wide as you want i i personally wouldn't go higher than maybe four or five tiers i, I just wouldn't go that high because it would probably look a bit silly um that's just my opinion i prefer the two tier one or the three tier which I've got another idea for a free tier, which you're going to see in a different video. You're not going to see it in this one, but it's it's good, okay? But the, the two tier one, I find it is better. Now, there's two ways to put the stairs up, by the way. Before I get ahead of myself and mention this. If you take this one away and put the stairs on there, you can basically extend it like that. So, you can have it like that, or you can have it... So, move that there. Or you can have it like that, okay? So, it's up to you. I prefer it this way, because it gives you more room to walk up. If you like it like closer together, just have it how I first put it down, easy. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, you put your, your plot down and then you start putting some food on and get some settlers assigned, done. And it's, like I was saying though originally, I, I prefer the two tier one just because I think it looks smarter with the junk fences. Um, it's not too tall, so it's, it doesn't look like intrusive in your settlement. It doesn't look like it's out of place. But then again, I've seen some crazy builds that are really tall and they don't look out of place at all. So I could be wrong. I could very well be wrong. But this is, like I said, the one with railings. And I, I don't like the railings at all. But I thought I'd show you. Also, don't put a railing there near the stairs if it tries to snap there. Your settlers won't be able to walk up. I've tried it. It's, it's a pain in the ass. So that's pretty much it. Now you just got to put your food down. Don't like this one though. Don't like the railings. If you're going to do this one, to be honest, you want to use the wooden fences, in my opinion. The wooden fences look so much better with everything else. Um, obviously, depending on what mods you got as well, you could be using some, you know, synth looking things, you know, building like objects and stuff, you know, it's, it's completely up to you. But I would not use the railing. The railings are absolutely pony, mate. They are just crap. Don't use them. But, you know, that's just my opinion. You might like the railings. I don't know. So that's pretty much it, you know, you put your food down and then once that's done, we'll start showing you uh, the, the two-tier one, my favourite one. I actually love this one because 
like I said, it doesn't look too intrusive. And depending on where you build it as well, if you build in Starlight Drive, probably go for the free tier one um, without the wood and stuff because it'll look better. The wood kind of doesn't suit Starlight Drive. I don't know why, but it just it looks out of place. But that's pretty much it. And also, like I was saying earlier, pillars to support it because you're not on like for aesthetic stuff. So try and line it up with the uh, with the scaffolding, and you'll get the height just right. So just line it up, bang, done, nice and easy. And there you go. It looks like it's being supported then, and not like floating stairs. So this is my favourite one, the two tier. Again, the scaffolding is just refusing to snap. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is on this game, but the things just don't snap for some reason. They just refuse to. So. All you gotta do is get the mod snappable junk fences. As far as I'm aware, there it's available on all consoles and PC, so you should be able to get it. There's no reason why you can't. So you take those away, put one there, because you need it as a reference, and you just put your snappable junk fences down. Now I was originally using the one with the barbed wire, but then to me it looked like it looked a bit evil. I was like, yeah, that's that's, that's not nice looking for food, is it? And your settlers, so I was just like, nah, no, we'll take that away. The only issue is you're gonna have that gap. You're going to have that gap, unless you've got the mod uh, building red and stuff, you're going to have that gap. And also, you can't really put the, the junk fences there because it'll stop the settlers being able to walk up the stairs or, and walk in to get the food. So, you need something to kind of cover the gap without uh, blocking the path. Up to you how you do it. I just kept the gap, it don't really bother me to be honest. So, this is the one with the wooden fences as well at the top. Again, just my opinion. I think it looks better with the wooden fencing. I just I like the wood in this game. It looks all rotten and you know post-apocalyptic. It's it's good. I don't see why you wouldn't like it basically. And it just it clicks well with everything else in the game. I don't know why it just does. And I, yeah, I, I like it. You got to use sadly the railings down here. Uh, only one because it it will snap there where the wooden fences won't. So that's the only time you got to use the railing there. But there you go. Now all that's left to do is just put some food down and then you are completely done and that's it that's all there is to it and this is the final product so we got mutt fruit at the top razor grain at the bottom and this is just my favorite one here and as i was saying i built this from another build video that's dropping tomorrow and i was just like this needs a video by itself it's it's so convenient you know when you when you need food for a settlement you don't want to be putting it all over the place and in the dirt and stuff and you can just have a tower in the corner out the way producing so much food uh, it's just it's just so convenient and it needs to be done and i think it looks cool as well so thanks for watching my video guys if you're new around here hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit the like button all the mods and my social media all the links are in the description as well as the end of the video and i'll catch you on the next one guys peace